Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my kawaii world. So this video is going to be all about interesting and unique and cutting edge Japanese stationery products. In my opinion, stationery is to Japan what beauty and skincare products are to Korea. It's something that the Japanese really excel at. And I can't wait to show you what I have lined up. Some of these products just blew my mind and like took my breath away. So let's go ahead and get into it. The Kokuyo dot liner is a really strong adhesive glue tape and it's kind of like glue dots but it's actually far superior to that. This little thing is perfect for journaling or scrapbooking and it comes in this nice little portable case. It looks like it's going to be whiteout tape but let me show you how this works. This is actually one of my favorite Japanese stationery products. I did not expect this to come out as hearts. It's a dot liner, so it's supposed to come out as little dots, but I think I ended up getting a special version. And I don't think I can bring myself to use this because it's so adorable. Who wants to cover up these pretty little pink hearts? The hearts are actually quite tacky and strong, so they adhere really well to paper. I highly recommend this. This makes a great gift for anyone who loves stationery. I guarantee you that you will be surprised how amazing this is. Downside is it doesn't seem to contain a ton of tape, so I think it's probably going to run out pretty quickly. Behold, my favorite pen of all time. The most annoying thing about pens is that if you mess up, you have to use whiteout tape or just scratch it out, and that looks really messy. But the magic of these pens is that you can erase them. They are erasable pens, and it's not like those cheap old school erasable pens. They actually erase. The ink for these pens is thermosensitive, so the heat produced by the friction on the tip of the pen when you erase it makes the ink disappear. Isn't that amazing? However, you don't want to use these for legal documents because at really high temperatures, the ink may disappear. So this pen is more appropriate for taking notes and just everyday use. Pilot first launched this in Europe because a lot of European kids tend to use pens and whiteout tape when they take notes, whereas Japanese kids tend to use pencils and erasers. However, when they launched it in Japan in 2007, it really took off with Japanese consumers and now they have a whole line of these pens in all different colors and sizes. So one of the most annoying things about highlighting is that when you accidentally highlight something you don't want to highlight, you can't go back and erase it. But Behold, the friction highlighter. You highlight something and oops, I didn't want to highlight that. Let's just erase it. Wow, isn't that magical? They come in lots of different colors, but I chose these pink and purple pastel ones. I just thought they were a little different from your typical highlighter. Also, since they're erasable, you can use them to make designs or create art. In addition to pens and highlighters, Friction also makes these teeny tiny little stamps. These are so adorable. But I don't think you guys are ready for how awesome these stamps are. Oh my gosh, they're erasable stamps. Have you guys ever seen an erasable stamp before? Isn't that amazing? Next up we have the Stapleless Stapler. This doesn't use staples. It makes an indentation in the corner of the paper and it holds the papers together without a staple. It's kind of like an embosser actually. The only thing is you can't staple a ton of papers together. It only works if you have like two or three sheets, but I still think that it's pretty cool. This one is made by Kokuyo, which is the same brand that makes those glue dots. I know that this just looks like an ordinary stapler, but bear with me. Let me show you guys how this thing works. Flip out the side like this. And let's staple these two pieces of paper together. I'm going to try to make a little booklet. 
Now normally you can't reach the middle because the paper is too long, but with this rotating stapler, flip it to the side and you can staple in the middle of the paper and make a little booklet. Isn't that amazing? I'm not even kidding. I feel like I've been looking for this product my entire life. So I got this one at Seiyu, it was about $5.50 for this, but then I went to Daiso and I saw that they had a cheaper version and it comes in both red and blue and it works pretty much the same way. Honestly, there is not a big difference between the Daiso stapler and the more expensive one. The only thing is the Daiso stapler came with some staples inside and the other one did not. But if I were you, I would probably check Daiso before spending four extra dollars on the blue one, but I'm pretty happy with the blue one and it's the one that I've been using most of the time. My kids are always asking me to staple two sheets of paper together so that they can make a little book. So this comes in really handy. I use it quite a bit. Next up, we have this really cool pen. Give me a second to open it. Janyang, scissors, fooled ya. Leave a comment below if you thought it was a pen. These are actually functional scissors and I know that they seem like they're hard to use because they don't have loops but they are actually not bad at all. They're pretty easy to use. And this is so convenient because you could just put it right into your pencil case. They are much more portable than your average scissors so this is really easy to take with you to a cafe if you want to do some journaling away from home. I haven't tried taking these on a plane. I probably wouldn't risk it, but I think that it looks very much like a pen. These next scissors are called the Fit Cut Curve Strong Scissors, and I've heard a lot of good things about these scissors. I was a little bit skeptical because really, how good can they be? I mean, I have the Cutco scissors, which are supposed to be super strong. They cut really well through cardboard. This I wasn't so sure about, but when I tried cutting through cardboard with these, it cut like butter. It was so smooth. I didn't have to strain my fingers at all. And I know that I'm sounding like an infomercial here, but this video is not sponsored at all. These scissors actually work really well and they are really strong scissors. So what makes these scissors so strong is the curved blade. So if you compare this to a regular pair of scissors, do you see how the inner blade of the scissors is a little bit curved? This enables the scissors to really grip whatever you're cutting and it makes cutting a lot easier. So when I cut with the regular scissors, I had to exert some effort, but these scissors just slice through this plastic so easily like it was a thin sheet of paper. Now, just a disclaimer, I have not had these for very long, so I cannot attest to how these will perform over time. I'm assuming that like most scissors, the blade will start to dull a little bit, but I really don't know for sure. This is the Kadokeshi eraser. Kado means corner in Japanese and keshi means erase. So this eraser ensures that you always have a fresh corner for precision erasing. Everyone likes the new corner of an eraser and so this one gives you 28 fresh corners. In my opinion, it's just okay because the problem is it's hard to access the inner corners unless you actually cut the eraser. But having a fresh corner on your eraser is nice because you can really erase with precision. So instead of erasing all of my name, I can just erase the I that I misspelled. And thanks to the precision of my eraser, I just save time by not having to rewrite the rest of the letters. I probably haven't used a lead pencil since I took calculus, but the Japanese have some pretty cool lead pencils. This is the Arends Pentecostal and it's super cool. If you're someone who breaks the lead on your lead pencils really easily, then you might like this one. This pencil has a mechanism that allows you to write with most of the lead covered by the tip of the pencil. So it looks like there's actually no lead coming out of the bottom of the pencil. The lead stays inside the tip as you write and it will automatically slide up when you need more lead. Also, the tip of the pencil is really smooth so it won't get stuck on your paper or scratch or pierce your paper. The lead comes in three diameters, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and 0.2. And if you write really small letters with an 0.3 or 0.2 lead, the letters will not overlap and they'll leave a lot of space so that your notes can be smaller and easier to read. Glue. This is a glue stick that is perfect for people who need to 
glue all the way to the edge of a corner of a sheet of paper that's rectangular or square. So the round glue stick will probably go over the edge or leave a mess on a square piece of paper. And this one allows you to go all the way to the edge without leaving a sticky residue on the corners. And the blue is nice because it allows you to see where the glue is, but then it dries clear. The Japanese really don't like their pencil lead breaking, so they have another pencil called Delgard, and this is a lead pencil with unbreakable lead. The secret is that there are springs inside the pencil that absorb the vertical stroke pressures when you write, and there's also a protruding tip that kind of guards the lead against diagonal pressure. I love anything that's miniature, so this tiny pair of scissors is no exception. I think that this is great to just put on your keychain, and it's always nice to have a pair of scissors handy, so when you forget to cut the tag off of your new shirt, you can just cut it. These scissors are kind of like the stick scissors, but they're a much smaller version, so because of the size, they're not as easy to use as the stick scissors it actually feels like you're using a smaller pair of scissors and so it's not as convenient but in a pinch I think this is nice to have on hand you can put it in your emergency kit or leave it in your car so most of the items I've shown you guys are really functional but they're not really cute but if you like Pocky then I guarantee that you'll like these Pensy pencils strawberry Pocky is one of my favorite snacks so of course I had to get these and they even have the little biscuit marks on the side of the pencil and you sharpen it from the biscuit side not the chocolate side when you put your pencils inside of a pencil case, sometimes they'll end up marking up the inside of the pencil case and they'll make the pencil case really dirty or there's also a chance of the lead on your pencil breaking. So these are little pencil toppers that you can stick on top of your pencil before you put it into your pencil case to protect the lead of the pencil and also the inside of your pencil case. This last one is a dual tip highlighter that smells like sweet desserts. Each side has its own scent and when combined you have a berry parfait dessert scent. And this is really flat and lightweight so I think it's great for carrying around in your pencil case and it's nice to have two colors in one pen. If you enjoyed that, check out this video where I unboxed Inku Crate, which is a Japanese stationery subscription box. I have a giveaway going on right now and they're not sponsoring this video, but if you guys are interested in winning some free Japanese stationery products, then check out the link in the description box below. I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Bye!